Hello students, welcome to Sangeetha Chemistry. So today we are going to discuss about ozone test. Qualitative analysis of carbohydrate is a very important topic in the last video. We will do the ozone test. This is the confirmatory test for the carbohydrates. So ozone test is the objective NN. Same, that is reducing sugar or non-reducing sugar. Identify it. Directly, if you go to the ozone test, we will identify it. Disaccharate and Monosaccharate are used in the same way. Disaccharate is prominent as the N carbohydrate that is lactose or maltose is easy to confirm. What are all the requirements we need? So sample, you need to use sample, then we need phenyl hydrazine. Phenyl hydrazine is 0.5 gram of phenyl hydrazine, 0.1 gram of sodium acetate, 10 drops of glacial acetic acid. These are all the requirements. Okay. So, microscope is also very very important for this test. Okay. Glass slide. That is how you can see it. So, first you can see it. We have to add the sample. We have to add the sample. Small amount of water. Then we have to add phenyl hydrazine. 0.5 gram. 0.1 gram of sodium acetate add. 10 drops of glacial acetic acid add. Add. That is how you can see it. We have to keep in the water bath. Water bath is coming. It takes 30 minutes. If there are monosaccharides, it will form 5 minutes, 10 minutes. It will form yellow color crystals. If there are disaccharides, it will heat up to 30 minutes to 35 minutes. So, the maximum ozone test will heat up to more than 30 minutes. More than 30 minutes will heat up to more than 30 minutes. There will be taking place a condensation and oxidation reaction in the ozone test. So, we have an LDA group C1 or ketone or keto sugar in C2. So, what we do is we do the phenyl hydrazine. We have to react to the monosaccharate or disaccharate. We have to react to diphenyl hydrazone. That is ozone crystals. So, this will take some time. The reaction will take place. So, that heat will be a little bit later. What will happen? The reaction will be in the test tubes. So, that will be a little bit better. You will know that you will have a color change. Okay? In yellow color, you will have a precipitate. You will have a little bit of a small spatula. A little bit of a test tube. You will have to tilt it and put it in a glass slide. You will have to zoom in the microscope. 10x will be a little bit better. What will happen? The needle shape will be a needle. So, that is glucose or fructose. For the glucose and fructose, we will look at the cell allowance test in aldo sugar and keto sugar. So, what do you do? If you have a needle shape form, it is positive and cell allowance is fructose. Negative and glucose. That is how you have a needle shape form. This is the disaccharate. If you have a maltose, you have 40 minutes to heat it. That is how you have a maltose. You can see that in the microscope, you can see that in the microscope. You can see that in the sunflower shape. That is how you have a maltose. This is the cotton ball shape. That is lactose. This is how you have an individual carbohydrate ozone test. You can identify it easily. You can see that in the microscope. So, what do you do with this? This is either glucose, or fructose, or maltose, or lactose. If you do this polysaccharate, you can answer the ozone test. If you have a reducing sugar, it will answer for the ozone test. Now, if you have a sample of starch, you can say that it is non-reducing sugar. If you have a sample of iodine test, you can answer iodine test. If you add the sample of iodine test, blue color form and non-reducing sugar is not blue color form and reducing sugar is not blue color form for the iodine test. That's why you can see the given sample was a polysaccharate. Clear? So, Mollis test, Felling's test, Benedict's test, Barfo's test, Cell Allowance test, Iodine test and Ozone test. So, exam point of view, practical level, you can see the exam in the experiment part. You can see the exam in the table column. Thank you students.